we reached out to state parks and asked if we could start to develop a partnership that the kids were able to leave campus, walk up here, learn about the site. So our third graders made an Eva Bird mosaic that's got a seven and a half foot wingspan. The idea was to hold your arm length out and realize how big the Eva Bird, a native seabird we have, and compare your arm length to the native Eva Bird. The fourth graders came up and learned about plants and cultural uses of the native plants and invasive plants, and they developed a plant sign that has all the native, or most of the native plants that you could find within the crater. And then fifth grade really dove deep into the crater. We went almost every week. We went with cultural experts. We went with someone named Denby Fawcett who wrote a book about here. Um, we went with a ranger here and learned about the plants and how the crater has changed over time. And then they went back and came up with their own topic of what they wanted to re research further and then delve deeper. When um, people visit, they can hit the QR code and find out different aspects about it. In the end, I think they'll, they got a lot out of it and they're, they're, they're really proud of it. Like 3,000 people a day possibly look at it.